So today we're gonna to break down Greg Doucette's new HTLT Turk Builder. Is it better than last time? What has he changed? Is it working? Why is it working? That sort of thing. I have some unique insights into this and a little bit of background, so I think you're gonna find this interesting. No spoiler, stay to the end. Number one, we're right here on the website. $59.99 per bottle, and in these bottles, you have anywhere from 40 servings, which no one's gonna take the single, I hope. He said that when he went to the gym in his personal sales pitch he did earlier today, which, respect, there's nothing wrong with that. Half of what I do on here is a sales pitch. If I'm selling it, it's a sales pitch, you know, so use your own noggin and look into it, but then decide, right? So here, that's what we're doing. We're being a little bit, a little bit critical, a little bit skeptical, but let's take a look. So what we have is 15 milligrams of turkesterone per capsule, 15 milligrams of 20-HE, or plain old ectosterone, and six milligrams of minor ectosterones. Now, the first thing to note is this is not a typical breakdown of sterones in an ectosterone product. The sterone content in most supplement companies and sources, ectosterone concentrate, is about 50% ectosterone, and then the other minor sterones, which is alpha ectosterone, uh, all these different forms, 20-HE, you know, all the different minor aspects of it, including turkesterone, usually make up the other 50% of the total sterone content. Now, what's interesting in his video that he put out today was that, you know, it's the high amount of turkesterone that's making the difference in this. Now, I understand, according to the literature and stuff like that, I understand why you would think that you want a high amount of turkesterone. And it's not that you don't want it, it just doesn't really matter in my personal opinion. And really that's only personal opinion. That's only, you know, personal experience. It's really the total sterone content that matters. Finding one that has a higher turkesterone content looks better for marketing. It matches some of the literature better and it's a better sales technique because it's gonna help it stand apart from other products. Probably what has happened is he's found another source from a different area maybe even a slightly different plant extract that has a little bit higher proportion of turkesterone. Typical amount of turkesterone for overall sterones is about 2% of the mix. In this case, it's about, as you can tell, what do we say that is, 45%, uh, <clears throat> something like that. So that's interesting. I just don't think that's gonna make a difference on how it reacts in your body. Honestly, 20 hydroxy ectosone alpha, ectosterone, turkesterone, all these sterones are plant sterols. It's like if you took, you know, a big old handful of different, you know, anabolics and threw them all in your mouth. Well, which one's doing the most? Well, this one raises estrogen more. This one does this, this one does that. Nootropics Depot tested theirs back in the day. This is from, a, you know, a couple years ago, but they did the HPLC testing. They found that, and I'll link this in the description, they found that theirs was about 1.24% of their total product was turkesterone. Uh, some of the other breakdowns showed that it was closer to 2% on some of the other products. So that's your typical turkesterone amount. So to have 40-ish percent, 45%, that's something different. Here's the big kicker, and here's what's really making the difference, folks, whether you want to believe it or not. Right here, sodium cap rate. Now, <clears throat> credit where credit is due. I was introduced to sodium cap rate by one of Doucette's researchers, and I want to be clear on that, just given a heads up. It's in a class of different substances called permeation enhancers. Also underneath that, you'll see the black pepper extract. That's a permeation enhancer. And what they do is when they get down to your gut, they actually work within the mucosal membranes to open that up a little bit to let a little more of these resistant to digest, resistant to absorb products get in through your system. That's why I put it in my product. The thing about sodium cap rate is it's pretty potent. If you use my sublingual Ecti, the Ecti Boost, and you taste that kind of, you know, that kind of medicine-y aftertaste, that's the, that's the sodium cap rate. And what that's doing is you can feel almost a little tingle sometimes under your tongue there when you put it in. Or some people do, some people don't. I do oftentimes. And you'll feel that it, it's, it's a permeation enhancer. It works in any mucosal membrane. If you shoved it up your butt, it would do the same thing. If you stuck it in your nose, it would do the same thing. You'd sneeze a lot, but it would permeate the membranes, right? So typically, 
he was putting about 10 milligrams of sodium cap rate in, now he's got five times that. So my guess is, is that his company, respectfully, found a good source for a ectosterone product that had as much terkesterone in it as it had ectosterone. So a plant extract or a plant source that has that, kudos, that's cool. I don't think that's making the difference. I think that the sodium cap rate is making the difference. Upping that to five times the normal plus the black pepper fruit extract, because you got to remember, his ectosterone, terkesterone, whatever it is, is not complex, and I understand why. In fact, one of his researchers told me because they, he particularly does not believe in HPBCD as a product that they want to mess with. They prefer to use black pepper and sodium cap rate. I respect that. I use all three. This sodium cap rate, this amount of permeation enhancement, it will work and it will allow a smaller amount because if you look at this, this is only 36 milligrams per capsule. You know, I'm giving you 1,200 milligrams total, well, in three servings, three daily servings of my oral product with, versus his oral product. Three daily servings is going to give you about 100 milligrams of his. I'm giving you 1,200 milligrams, 12 times the raw ingredient. The difference maker is, for him now, because I'm already including sodium cap rate, the difference is, is this high amount per serving. Okay, now I've gone the other way and added a lot of main ingredient with a little bit of sodium cap rate, a little bit of black pepper extract. And I've done that because, folks, use your own judgment on this. This is just strictly my opinion. I don't want any heat from Greg or his legal team or any problems with that. I have a lot of respect for what they're doing. In fact, this is an improvement on the old product for sure. But my theory is, is just like they don't want to use HPBCD because they have some concerns about its long-term health effects. I've researched that. I believe it to be safe. I believe that actually having this high of a proportion of permeation enhancers could lead to leaky guts. And some of my purchasers, some of my customers, my long-term customers that I consider buddies at this point, actually have leaky gut syndrome already. And we don't want to exacerbate that. So if you have leaky gut syndrome or you are prone to those types of issues within your digestive tract, then you want to be careful just how much permeation enhancing you're doing. And so that's why I've kept that very low in comparison to something like this. But that does not mean that this is unsafe. This means that if you are prone to that, you might want to avoid it, but do your own research, make your own decisions. If you're not, I'm not, I have no troubles with that. I would have no trouble taking this. And honestly, I believe that it will give you those results because think about this. He's got, you know, a little less than one tenth of the amount of raw ingredient per day. You know, if you're going to take three capsules a day of this compared to my three servings of oral ecti, you're getting like, you know, one tenth of the amount of raw product. Even compared to my sublingual, which is much, much higher absorption and we need less product, you're still getting more. Uh, I think almost double, yeah, three servings of my sublingual is right about just under 200 milligrams of raw sterones. That's double what you're getting out of this, you know, and that's the sublingual. And the sublingual absorption, we're getting like 45%, you know, some higher, much, much higher percentage. So the way he's done this is he's got a small amount of product relatively, no offense, and then a large amount of permeation enhancement. Hey, that works. The funny thing is, is that, you know, I watched this video. One of my guys hit me up and said, hey, man, look what Greg's doing. He's, got, he's finally uh, getting results similar to your oral, you know, your oral. Uh, but he gets in the gym you know, and he's like, oh, my God, I had more energy. energy. I could breathe better. Da, da, da. Well, that's because it's actually working for the first time, Greg. That's what my guys have been getting out of my product for a year and a half now. That's why when I give it to an old power lifter at the gym, he comes up to me 15 minutes later and goes, I got a pump for the first time in 10 years. I was able to get three more reps on my dips. It's because of how it affects the MAS receptor. It produces more nitric oxide. You're actually getting more oxygen to your muscles. And then downstream, we're getting some central nervous system support through the S radial receptor, the E2 receptor, without any feminizing effects. So we're, it's not affecting the androgen receptor, it's affecting the S radial receptor, which is an anabolic pathway, believe it or not, and this MAS receptor, which is giving us that extra boost of 
oxygen to our muscles, more endurance, more energy, and just a better pump overall for our whole body. So I'm, good, I'm glad to see that he's got a product that's finally approaching real effective results. Kudos, that's cool, man. I, hats off. Now, the price, 60 bucks. Now, when he said he went to the gym and felt all that, he was on three capsules. And then he backed it down to two capsules. Oh, it's too strong. Now, I, I know what you're doing. You want to find out what the reasonable, minimal, effective dose is. You have not developed this yourself. You're just going to start off with taking a handful. I get it. I'm the same way, except for I'm developing by myself, and I start with the lowest dose and work up and see what the top dose is. So he backed it down to two capsules, still getting results. Good. That's good. So let's say you take two capsules before a workout and you're gonna go through three capsules a day. You're gonna make it 13 days, not terrible, that's 60 bucks every 13 days, basically 120 bucks a month. But most of us are gonna to wanna to take three capsules at a time, three times a day. The half-life is only about four and a half hours thereabouts. It lasts about nine hours in your system. But if you wanna take full advantage, you take it morning, noon, and night. And that way you get your four and a half, four and a half, you know, throughout the whole day. So if we're doing that, we're taking, well, let's say two capsules. So you're getting 20 servings of two capsules and you're going through three of those a day. So that means you're going through six capsules a day and a 40 capsule bottle. So 20, that's going to get you about what? What is that? Two capsules, three times a day. So 20 divided by three, you're going to get about one week's worth out of that for realistically. So not the greatest price, not a horrible price. I understand this is large scale. There's other factors that come involved and stuff like that. This is a viable product. This is approaching the amount of useful results that we've been getting from our oral and our sublingual ecti for quite a while now. But no, not, not overall a much improved product. Better than last time. Kudos on that. The price okay it's a little pricey but then again my oral product's pricey again because it's got 10 times the amount of uh it raw ingredients as this per month so that is pricey i'd be 600 bucks right so so i'm still you know the way that i'm able to do that is because it's just a mom and pop operation we don't have a whole bunch of you know infrastructure and all this kind of thing it's just me and my girlfriend so if you guys want to try theirs i highly recommend you know versus their old product but I also much highly recommend my own product, test and compare, you know, buy a bottle of mine. You know, it's uh, 29 bucks, or if you want, you know, hit me up. I might just uh, work you a deal or send you a sample bottle with something else that you order. If you're ordering the sublingual and you really wanna try my oral formula, let me know, I'll send you a small bottle of the oral formula with it, or vice versa, whatever you wanna do. So we want you to figure out what the best fit for you is. 